Okay, so in this video I'm just going to cover installing Sim EFB into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So uh, you would purchase the uh, software from one of our pre preferred suppliers and download the install package. I'm just going to run up the install package. It's a normal um, Windows install package, triple uh, encrypted. Um, so Windows should see it as an extremely safe, nice package to install. And um, we just next everything in there. And now the software is fired up and uh, it's now asking me where did I purchase it from? So I can say it's just flight or another different preferred supplier. Now having um, purchased, uh, I would have received a confirmation email. So basically it's gonna ask me for my order number, which is basically, um, like my unlock code that's going to be tied to my email address so I'm just going to pop that in there there's my order number and uh, my email address now if I haven't received the confirmation email I have actually got a two hour grace period I can kind of ignore it uh, for two hours so let's press the OK and uh, that's just going to make me check that everything's spelt correctly. And of course it's important to write down uh, this order number, store it somewhere, just in case you ever need to reinstall the software again using the same email address. So now it's going to ask me to confirm my email address. Uh, it's obviously sent me uh, an email waiting for me to confirm. You've got 24 hours to confirm that. So that's basically how the registration works. And now, of course, it's asking me to install um, the three panels within a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, I may not want the three panels installing, in which case I can unclick, tick uh, one of these options here and only install one or two. Uh, the panels are kind of optimized. So the first panel is intended for text. So you can put your notes in there, your plan or your nav log. Um, and two is for a map and a chart and same with three. And the idea is you can have two different maps or charts side by side in your VR cockpit. At the top there, we can uh, automatically find the community folder because uh, basically uh, Flight Simulator 2020 has a community folder and everything copied in there, then gets installed into the sim when it starts up. So it's important that the sim isn't running, although if it is running, all you've got to do is reboot the sim to uh, enable these panels. Um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna install all three. And uh, that's just warning me there that they will only be seen um, if the sim is started up. In other words, they're only red at the time it starts up. It's also saying there that uh, it may now, uh, Windows may now ask me for internet access. Uh, it's been installed on this machine already, so um, that's not a problem here. Now, in future, if a future upgrade on Microsoft uh, 2020 um, disables the panels or maybe I want to uninstall them or reinstall a different number then I can go up to this menu option up here and access exactly the same menu and uh, unticking them all and clicking install would actually uninstall them um, so that's that simple to kind of reinstall them so having installed the software we've now got a load of example flights up here and it's probably worth pointing out where all the flights are is um, stored. So if I go to my documents, you see there is a SIM EFB flight pan folder in here, um, which is broken basically down into two folders. You've got a folder for airports and you've got a folder for flight plans. So the idea is any new flight plans, if you've already got the airport information, then you know it pulls the airport information in from a shared location as such. So you only ever have to research the information for the airport one. So now we've got the program installed, you can watch another video on how to publish the flight plans to FS2020 and how to create them. Thank you very much for watching.